Hi guys, if you're watching this tutorial, somewhere in between I mentioned that you need to watch the player setup tutorial. Now please avoid that because number one, I'm not going to upload that tutorial anymore because it doesn't fit the purpose and um, I'm going to be changing it so the player setup tutorial will be coming soon and um, other two tutorials that I won't be uploading is the animation tutorial for the players and um, the crouch tutorial simple reason is I'm going to be remaking those because the old ones had really bad quality and had some little issues but yeah so if I do mention that you have to watch the player setup tutorial please ignore that and just continue watching the tutorial thank you hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make the shake script now if you don't know what that is it's basically a script that will shake our camera so a best way to put this would be Imagine you're a game that uh, you stepped on a collider and then when you do that you play animation like something breaks like a building outside at the same time you can call the script to shake its camera and this is the effect you would get let me quickly show you before we start making it shake one I'm going to set it 50 and I'm going to go back into the script for a second quickly open it up do, do, do where is it let me set this to 50 as well okay and keep that don't worry about the script right now okay so when I run the game this is what's gonna happen let me maximize the screen for you as you can see the camera starts to shake and that's the kind of effect we want but that's way too much so the shake amounts too much so it's always best 0.6 if you want a very good shake amount so keep it as that like so okay so this is what you're gonna get this is what the script shake script does for us so let's start creating it let me remove the old script right click on your FPS script folder and create a new JavaScript and call this shake cam Double click and open this in Mono Develop. And we have an empty script. And the first thing we want to do is we, would, we want to define our variables. And for the script, we only need four variables. The first one is the object that's going to be moving. And in this case, it's our camera. So var cam and type transform with a capital T. Okay, just save the script. The next one we want is var shake and it's going to type float. I'll explain what these all do afterwards. Let me just really type them down. It's going to be typed to float, it's going to be equal zero var shake amount. It's going to be a type float as well. It's going to be equal to 0 0.1 and the last one we need is var um, bring down timer can't think of a name so I'm just going to call it this and it's going to be type float as well and uh, it's going to be equal to 1 for now so let me go through over these variables so the first one is basically our object and this is just telling Unity that whatever object stored in here, we want this object to have the shake effect on it. Shake. Shake is going to be how long we want the camera to shake for. So this could be 50, 40, 10, 80, so it's saying 80 seconds, 5 seconds, whatever. It's up to you. The amount you want it to shake, always keep it in the zero points range. If you go above that, it shakes it too much. And it looks really ridiculous and it hurts your eyes. So 0 0.1 or 0 0.8 is a shake amount. Bring down timer is basically going to be a timer which counts down the shake back to zero. So it stops shaking the camera for us. So now that we define the variables, let's start creating the script. And believe me, this script's very short. It's not that hard. And the first thing we want to do is we want to define an if statement. So if open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace, close curly brace. Copy this one more time paste that in there. For this last one here, underneath the closing bracket put it else 
open bracket and close bracket. There we go. Now in the first one you'll say if shake amount if the shake sorry not amount is less than zero we want shake to be equal to zero again. So shake equals zero. Okay? And the next one is similar. What we're gonna say is if shake is greater than zero, we want the camera to stop moving. So if shake is greater than zero, let's stop moving the camera. So we're gonna say cam dot transform dot local position not rotation is equals to random. What is with more developed today? It's really irritating me. Doesn't matter. Random dot. Once you put random, you have two of these options called here called inside unit circle and inside unit sphere. Now it's entirely up to you which one you select, but I always use unit circle. It just makes basically moves the object in an imaginary circle in a random position as well. And it does the same thing for the sphere. So I'm gonna set the unit circle and I'm gonna times this by the shake amount. So that's how much I want to shake. Now as soon as I start to do that, we want to start decreasing the timer for the shake as well. So shake minus equals time dot delta time times by bring down timer. So this dots to bring the shake back to zero. Otherwise shake is still equal to zero. There we go, the script is done. Save the script and let's go back to Unity. Let it just update. Brilliant, fantastic, no errors. Um, if you guys haven't followed my character setup tutorial, I suggest you do because in that tutorial, remember we made something that holds our camera in position and that was called camera holder. And inside that we had the original camera because we don't want to apply the script to camera holder but you want to apply it to the camera itself so drag that onto the camera there we are and as you can see we have the script there with a cam variable open that has nothing defined and let's just go back into no no need to actually yeah just drag the camera onto this open variable over here save it now Let's run the script and you should get nothing at the moment. I'll explain to you in a bit why. So you should get no shake. That's perfect. Now that's because shake is set to zero. Now let's set shake to three for example. And I want it to move 0 0.3 and bring down timer to one. So now the screen should shake for three seconds. <clears throat> Fantastic. There you go, you know it works. But there's something that you might want to do, like for example, at the moment this script is only usable by turning it on and off, you can call it. But what if we want to set the shake timer ourselves? How is that possible? Simple. Go back into your shake cam script. Now this variable called shake, put static in front of this. Okay, now I'll explain what static does. You should know what it does static and for the second one as well the shake amount okay static basically allows you to use this variable and this variable in other scripts so you can call them otherwise you can't if you don't have static in front of stuff you can't call them that's all what static does and this way we can call it somewhere now I'm just gonna go my to my FPS input control script. Don't worry about this one. I was working on it for I don't know for some time And I'm just gonna go into our Jump input you should have that as well So when I press jump what I want to do is I want to call the shake cam script so shake uh, Don't worry if you don't see the script name coming up sometime unity does that I don't know why it's really strange uh, Not unity mono develop. Sorry so shake cam 
dot shake is what the variable was called and I want to set a shake amount to 20 there we go so this way we've just set the shake cam shake to 20 now if I go back in here at the moment you see it's zero so we can tell if it works or not the only thing you should be able to see now is bring down timer nothing else so remember original default values for shake was zero and if it moves it is now set to 20 when I press jump so let's find out does it work or does it not so when I'm standing it's fine when I'm jumping there you go it's set it to 20 I know this because the camera is moving and fantastic this is how you make a shake script and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did and don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and I will see you soon. The next tutorial will be about dynamic movement for the camera. Take care guys.